Hi YouTube, I'm here to share with you guys the tutorial for the um, shaker carriages that I did in my die hard video. I'm showcasing this die right here. This is a die by Marianne Design. And um, I believe I went to her actual site and picked up this um, die. So you can, I'll have it linked below. So you guys, if you want to check out this die. <clears throat> But in my Die Hard Wednesday video, I created um, these cute shaker carriages right here. And um, I had a request um, to do a tutorial. So I'm here today to show you how I put this together. Okay? So, I'll just put that right there if it'll stand up there. So what I did, uh, first off, <clears throat> Um, I've already cut it out for the sake of time, but what I did was I used five, of course you're going to use your designer paper, and the paper that I used to cut it out with came from Hobby Lobby, it's by the Paper Studio, and it's the Solid Glitter Cotton Candy, and I absolutely love this paper, I love working with this. Okay, so that's what I use for my designer paper. And then I cut out a total of five cardstock pieces because what you want to do is use your cardstock pieces to adhere on the back of your designer paper to give it some sturdiness. So for the sake of time, I've already done that. So I have a total of four cardstock pieces already adhered on the back to give it some sturdiness because you want a very sturdy embellishment. So that's what I've done. And you can see here the thickness, let me see if I can, yeah, you can kind of see there the thickness and I used the 110 pound recollections cardstock on the back so what you would do would go ahead and cut out your designer paper and a lot of people ask, you know, this is kind of an intricate cut, you can see all the little pieces here so what I would recommend to cut out, I would recommend a precision base plate and if some of you are not familiar with that, you can pick that up at Hobby Lobby or, or uh, Michaels. It looks like this. And this is your precision base plate. And it will just help make um, the cut of the die a lot easier. I will also recommend um, wax paper to help release the paper from the die a lot better. So the sandwich you would use to cut it out would be your... This is one of those magnetic um, plates, but you'll use, you know, you can use the one to come with your cutting machine. Uh, so if you're using a Sizzix, you, it'll be this one or your um, cutting surface. And then you'll put the precision base plate on top of that. Okay. And then you'll use your, put your material down. And then put your wax paper down and then set your die on top of it okay and then put your um, cutting plate on top of that so that will be your sandwich to cut out the die okay and so what you will do you'll cut out a total of your designer paper and five cardstock pieces and you'll go ahead and adhere your four cardstock pieces on the back and leave one to put on the very end okay so that's what you'll do there, and I've already did that, you know, adhered that for the sake of time. So then you're going to need an acetate piece. You can use acetate or you can use vellum, whatever you um, want to work with. And I've already cut out my little vellum piece. You can kind of see it there. And the size of that, um, to help you out a little bit, it measures 1 and 7 eighth by 1 and 7 eighth. So I've already cut that out. And then you're going to need your little paper piece to go behind that, and I've already done that. And that measures 1 and 5 eighth by 1 and 5 eighth. And that's the piece that's going to go behind your acetate piece like that. Okay, so basically to put this together, it's going to be the same technique as if you were doing any other um, shaker card um, or anything like that. So you're going to go ahead and put your adhesive down. 
um, for your acetate piece. I prefer to use a dry adhesive and um, I've tried to use wet adhesive and not had much success with it because it tends to get on my acetate piece and just make a, a mess. So it's just really a personal preference of what you want to do. So you're going to go ahead and put your adhesive down. So I'm just going to put it and you're going to just put it around the holes, you know, put it around your opening piece. Okay. And I like working with the little smaller runners versus the big one. It's just a lot easier when you're working with a smaller piece like this. And try to get it as close as, it, as you can. It doesn't matter if you get it all on the outside. You can take, you know, rub that off later. Alright, so I got my adhesive all around the little opening part there, if you can see that. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere my um, acetate piece on top. And you see I didn't need all that adhesive, but we'll get that off later. Okay, so just go ahead and put that down. Make sure the um, ends are really adhered down nicely so that your um, sequence and stuff won't, won't come out. Okay, I'd rather have too much adhesive than not enough. So just put that down like that. And what you're going to do next, this is very important too, make sure your acetate piece is rubbed off really good and clean and don't have any um, adhesive on it. So you're going to do that make sure you clean it real good. And then after you do that, you're going to apply your um, foam tape. And I'm just using this. I don't know the brand. It's just something I had in my stash. So you're going to go ahead and adhere your foam pieces around the edges here. Okay, so that your sequence won't fall out. And to provide some um, dimension so that you're, you have the shaker component. So I'm just going to go ahead. And these are really, these little strips I already cut is just really easy to work with. I prefer using these because it's already cut for you. It's just easier to use, okay? So, all right, and you're just going to go ahead and put it all around the little, you know, around your acetate piece. So I'm going to do that. I feel like I'm too quiet. <laughs> I'm not used to doing tutorials, you guys. So I'm going to try <laughs> to do this. This is not easy. I commend all the people that do tutorials because this is not easy to do at all. But I'm going to try <laughs> this. Okay, I'm sorry. Out of frame. And basically, like I said, I'm just putting the adhesive, the uh, foam tape all around here so but I had a fairly busy uh, weekend Saturday took my daughter my uh, five-year-old to a birthday party at Playtime Pizza and y'all know how that can be um, crazy <laughs> but she had a ball okay so this is what this looks like Okay, and so after you do that, let's uh, see, I want to make sure this piece is going to fit, and it will. Okay, I just have to check. I hope I didn't cut that too, too small. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like, and you're going to go ahead and put your, I already have my sequence ready here in this little cup, and go ahead and place your um, sequence inside the little dome here is what I call it and then I'm kind of OCD a little bit I like to make sure this is completely clean and another little tip I don't have it here with me but a lot another tip for you um, that um, static pillow thing that you use when you're embossing it's good to go around the edges with that let me let me grab it and the reason I say that so your sequence won't stick to this little sticky part and it just helps break up that adhesive there in the inside in here so that your um, 
your components can shake easier. So let me grab that. I forgot to get that. Let me sh get that. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. This little thing here. So it's good to kind of go around the edges in the inside. Because you're gonna you want to make sure this is not real sticky in the very inside of that so that your sequins can shake around a lot better. That's a really good tip to help you on that. Okay. Because I may have a little adhesive in there. Okay. So then you do that. Clean it again. And then go ahead and put in your sequence. Whoopsie, I put way too much. Okay, hold on. Let me dip some of that out. Oh, God, that was way too much. Okay. <laughs> Let me put a little bit more. Okay, and I like to look, use a little seed beads too. The seed beads help it shake around a lot better. So if you have some seed beads um, in your stash, make sure you include that too. Because it just helps it um, shake around a lot better. Alright, so I may have too much in there, but anyway, let's go ahead. So I have my sequence inside, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the little paper from the back. Okay, and then I have my little designer paper to go on the back, and I have a sticker here that says love. And you're going to go ahead and put that down. And I think this, you know what I did? I think that may be too small. I think my paper needs to be a little bigger. I may have to cut that a little bigger. We're going to see. Let me see if this will work. It may work. Okay, let's just go ahead with it and see what we get. Okay, so I have my designer paper on there. Let me see if I got it on there right. Yeah, and I think I may have put too much sequins, but anyway, you get the gist of what I'm doing, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and put the last piece on the back, and that's going to make it look dimensional. So, you're going to have this piece right here, and with this adhesive sticking out like that, it's kind of going to work in my favor. You're just going to lay that right on top of that. So that kind of worked in my favor by this piece being so small, okay? So let's go ahead and do that and just pop this right on the back. And let's see. Make sure you kind of got it even. And it, everything lines up. And let me pick this up and do it so I can get it a lot better. Okay. All righty. And I got just a little bit of, um, let me see if I can pick this up and do it. Well, I guess it's okay. All right, you're going to adhere that down. And this is what it's going to look like in the back. Okay? And I put way too much sequins, but this is what it looks like on the front. But it's, it, it works. It works. Okay, and it have that little love on there. And I was going to decorate it with you, but this video is already too long. <laughs> so, um, oh, what the heck. Let me go ahead and just, I have my seat, uh, my little bow right here. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. What the heck, huh? Okay, let's see. Let's drop that on there. Okay, so I got that on. If you can see that, I'm going to cut these string, these little pieces here a little bit. This is way too long. Okay, so we got that piece on, the little sequence. Okay, and so let's just put the little, put this on here. And I'm using these cute little embellishments. You can see that from, that I picked up from Michael's. Put that on right there. See how that's coming out? So cute. This little sequence is a little, I may have to cut that a little bit more, but you can see that there. And then you're going to put um, the same ones on here. 
Okay. Like that. And if you want, you can put up here, but that may be a bit much. Let's see how that looks. Well, not really. Let's see. You can if you want to. I, I think it's a bit much. I don't think it's needed, so I'm going to take that out. Okay. So there you have it. The shaker carriages. Right there. So that's what you do. Easy peasy. So um, if you guys want to pick this up, like I said, I'll link below um, the website where I picked this die up. If you want to try these in your project, um, I think you'll really like those. So thank you guys for tuning in and staying with me on this tutorial. Bye.